Actually, Amari Cooper's joining them. That's a big-time trade, it feels like, for this Buffalo Bills team who traded away Stephon Diggs in the offseason to the Houston Texans, now potentially bringing in an, uh, a new number one. 15 games last year, he had how many yards? 1,250. With the Cleveland Browns, obviously, Joe Flacco comes in there. Amari Cooper becomes a massive piece yeah. of that entire story. D, but what is Amari Cooper? And uh, if this trade is real which was reported by Schulte, but hey, listen. They're out there. There's a lot more out there. Rap okay, so too. certainly real. Uh, congratulations to Amari Cooper getting traded to the Buffalo Bills offense who has Josh Allen. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's been and has been in multiple places a legit number one. You know, he's not – I wouldn't say he's not – where Devontae Adams is, but he's a savvy route runner. Uh, had some drops earlier this year, but you can't really get a real feel of how he is right now with how shitty that uh, Browns offense has been up front and with the quarterback play. So coming to a quarterback in an offense uh, like Josh Allen, giving him a, another security blanket, kind of what he had with uh, Stephon Diggs, uh, with the other young pieces around him, to be in that room and be able to grow and watch him. This is huge, I think, for Keon Coleman. Shakur to be in that meeting room and being around a pro like Amari Cooper. Obviously, drafted top five when he came in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it's been, like I said, productive everywhere he's been. So I love this move uh, from the Buffalo Bills. And never never says, you know. No. Just no. always. Constant no issues profession. off the – he's kind of yeah. – I mean, just like Julio was. You know, from Bama, just guys that come in and grind. Josh Allen. Uh, yeah, he must – I mean, Amari Cooper is the happiest person pumped. on the planet right yep. now. How about Bean? Yeah, yeah, Bean. absolutely. Bean's got to be thrilled wow. as well because you come off a win. All right, they're yes. four and two. Mike, Mike Greenberg did this entire thing earlier on our show and on uh, Get Up, I think, where he was like, you know, with this Josh Allen era over the next 15 years, because of the contracts and the way you have to kind of finagle your way through the salary cap with some cap gymnastics or whatever, you're going to have some times where, ah, and then there are going <laughs> to be times where their team is full go. He's like, right now they're in like a, huh. Well, they just <laughs> they just beat the Jets. Yeah. They beat some. They're four and two, and they add Amari Cooper. It's like Brandon Bean's cooking up there as yeah, well. Getting healthier on on defense as well. The safeties I felt like played really really well last night. Taylor Rapp uh, flying around collisions, getting Teron Johnson back in the slot, one of the best slot defenders in the league. When he's healthy, he was banged up to begin the year. Uh, is Milano supposed to come back no, this year? So. Or he's no. out for the rest of the year? Yeah, yeah that's obviously a huge End missing piece year. for them. Uh, but uh, yeah, getting healthier on the back end, that's always always great. And then getting a weapon like this for Josh Allen. Josh Allen's obviously a weapon. So for Greeny to come on and say that, hour and a half later, they make this trade. But Great job by Brandon Bean. was listening again. to Greeny. Uh, we're like, yes. Right. Oh. He's dancing on the oh. show, huh? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. okay. Mm. Well, you guys are coming out to New York. Oh, okay. Mm. There's only one team that's in New York, Amen. is what Bean said. Amen. And it's the Buffalo Beals. That's right. Josh Allen just got a great weapon. Full details have been released. Buffalo gets wide receiver Amari Cooper and a sixth in 2025. Mm -hmm. Cleveland will get a third in 2025 and a seventh in 2026. And there's a lot of teams around the NFL wondering, Amari Cooper was available for that? That's what Amari Cooper was available for? <laughs> what does this contract look like? Amari oh, it's, uh, So they restructured it right before the season to make it more tradable. I know I – because when the – when was it? Was it during the – there was trade talks for him earlier this season. Early, yeah, and, it, and I think. Well, are the Browns like, just packing it in? What's it mean for the Browns? Sorry to cut you off. What's this mean? For them? That's a good question, brother. Are they gonna start? Are they gonna start trading away multiple pieces now? And then what's the future look like for them? Because you know, allegedly the Deshaun contract not as lock tight as everybody had first reported. Another wide receiver trade on a busy day. Buffalo desperately need a wide receiver help. With Cooper. Looked like a player who really oh needed gosh. it with Cooper's base salary all the way down to one point two one million this season. Wow, what? Yeah. So they oh, yeah. paid him. <laughs> they paid him up front to, yeah. to yeah. be able to trade him. Yeah. Wow. Was... Okay. Can we okay. go back to what it cost again? A third and a seventh. Third and a seventh. Yep. One point two one million eight hundred thousand bucks. Yeah. Had, had to give up Ooh. a six as well. Guys, Pro Bowler, perennial Pro Bowler. Wow. What are we doing? <laughs> Why are we always the ones that feel this way? Why do we always feel like, wow, that feels like real light? to get Amari Cooper on your team. That is insane to add a instant well, what, playmaker. What's the, what would they argue? Would would front office people argue, hey, well, you, that's a lot to give up two picks for a guy for, what, 10 games or something? Is that's that what they, they would say? They're giving up one, really, though, because you're getting one better. Yeah. That's what they would say, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you're getting a better one than the seventh. Yeah. So it actually so, I mean, I, I think it's a good – yeah, I'd, I'd take that. If I'm the Bills, I'll take that all day long. He's only getting – you only owe him $807,000 for the rest of the year. Why do we always view it that way, though? feels like we view it that yeah. – like, this one feels like a heist. This for me. This is what this feels oh, like. Yeah. Getting Amari Cooper like that for one pick, seemingly a third rounder in 2025, which Bean I assume will be able to get back however he wants, and then the sixth and the seventh, Bean actually wins that one. 
why why do we feel why do we always feel this way and hmm. yeah. i mean josh allen's fucking thinking we, we were able to get him for what a third rounder pretty much yeah. and we got to pay him less than some special teamers we have on this team this year i don't was there a contract owed like for this deal to really get done at some point if they renegotiated this thing no so they 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 gave him all that uh, money all, what are you whatever he was due they gave him all up front at the beginning of the season so he's basically a free agent after this season and he's only 30 years old i guess it's what he's only 30? Wow. Yeah, he's been in the league forever. Right? Yeah. Seasoned vet. Congrats to the Bills. Mm -hmm. Big Good move. Good They're in the lead in the AFC. That window. Congrats to Amari. He can back open.